do a video on a problem I had today. I have a you know a universe of maybe a hundred thousand or a million items, and within those within that universe there are like ten or fifteen categories that these items belong to, and I I don't know if it's like they're all evenly set up in these categories or one category contains half of them. Or, you know, it's like 80%. Yeah, I don't know what how they're distributed within these categories. So, you know, most of the, like, if you Google around for, like, sample size to represent population, the only way people know how to calculate that is in, like, the context of a sample statistic. Like, this guy is asking a similar question. Got a thousand items. How many items does he want to say are needed to get 95% confidence that it's not defective? And some, you know, pedantic, you know, person is going to be like, what is it? What do you mean? I don't really know what you're asking. I can't even tell you because I have no clue. But I'm here asking, trying to answer questions. And um, somebody's concerned about, you know, this is just people sound. They don't know how to think. They just know how to reiterate junk from textbooks. So I hate that. So you know what I said? I'm just going to code it out. I'm just going to do it myself. I don't need all this crap. So... Let me actually do that. I'm using Python 3.6, we're going to import random. And I need my object, so I'm going to say I have a camel, I have a horse, I have a donkey, I have a mule, I have a bulldozer, I have a chain, I have a machete, I have a, um, a tool, I have a border collie, and I have a widget. So I have these things. These are my things, right? And what are, how many things do I have? I have 10. Now I want to create a universe of like a million of these things. And I want different numbers of each one. So I'm going to use the random module. I'm going to say, first I'm going to create an array of weights. So I'm going to say um, random, random, times 1000 for x in range yeah we're not even using x so we'll go with the underscore yeah range in 10 we'll just quickly assert that length of things is equal to length of weights because that's kind of important now i just wanted to walk you through the uh the interesting thing and let's look at weights right because it might seem like a bunch of voodoo so i just have 10 numbers and uh you know, some are small, some are large, changes every time. See, it keeps changing every time I execute the cell. So what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to take random choices. And this is relatively new. I saw it in a Raymond Hedinger class on Safari. And it'll take a population of things. And um, let me just keep the help thing out while I code up an example. Random choices. Uh, the population are going to be things. Weights are going to be equal to weights. Yeah, I kind of, is that smart to use a variable with the argument name? We'll see. And the K, let's just say it's equal to 10. Um, so let me also just print, print weights. Yeah, I don't like that. We'll just look at it. Okay. So what do we have here in weights? We have the, uh, what's popular? We see like, this one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Bulldozer is really popular. So if I take that a bunch of times, I should keep seeing, should keep seeing bulldozer is pretty well represented there. Um, another thing I'm going to need here is from collections, import counter. And that's kind of an important class. So what I'm trying to do again is I'm trying to build a, a population of things. So I'm going to call this uh, the universe. is going to be equal to random choices of the things. Weights are equal to the weights. And of course, the weights are telling it how to sample based on, um, you know, how many like donkeys I want to create in my universe versus bulldozers. Now, I don't want 10. My real problem is more like this. It's more like a million things. And I don't necessarily know, um, you know, how many of each there are. So here's my universe, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at the frequencies in my universe. So we're going to say counter universe most common 10. So camel is popular, bulldozer is popular, chain and machete are not that popular. So 
you know, I have lots of, uh, I have a lot of camels here. I'm just going to put it up here so it all executes in the same, in the same thing. And uh, I'm actually going to say my uh, uni counts are going to be equal to that, just so that gets, you know, save this variable. We'll take a look at it too. Now, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, I, I know, actually, let me, for uh, thing, no, yeah, for whatever, for x counts in uni counts, print x counts uh, divided by, because I want a percentage here, it's going to be divided by that. So, all right, now we've got, you know, it just so happened that in this universe, it's filled with border collies and tools. And, you know, camels, donkeys are not that important. Now I want to say, okay, how many do I need? Like if I sample my universe, how many do I need to get a rough sense of the true distro of, you know, what percent is collies, what percent is mules or widgets, right? So that's kind of what people are asking around. People like to ask this question in the context of how do I get a sample statistic for the population mean, or, you know, they use dumb textbook examples like pol political polls and all that stuff. And that's cool. But, you know, a lot of times you just want to say, how many can I take to get some general sense of, of, of sort of understanding my population? I don't have time to look at a million things. I don't have time to look at 10,000 things. Can I look at a hundred? And let's do that. Let's look at a hundred things. So, you know, again, the, the random module to the rescue, we're going to take a random sample. And I forget how that works. You, you pass it a population and, and K. Uh, okay, so my population is, well, it's my universe. Population is universe. K is going to be, well, let's do K of 10 for a second. Okay, so K of 10, I get this thing, right? So I've got, let me... Start with 100, right? Because I could look at 100 things manually, okay? So I could say counter uh, most common 10. And I didn't like that because I didn't close out the parentheses there. It's not as bad as JavaScript, but all right. So now we're going to say for uh, item frequency and counter print item frequency and we're going to divide the frequency by a hundred so okay i only took a hundred but among my my mega category here in our universe 22 percent of things are border collies i came pretty close i sampled 100 out of a million and you know i did find that the border collie was the top thing tool you know 16 percent versus 0.19 that's pretty close. Horse was also very close. Mule was very close. Machete and bulldozer were reversed here. But in general, we actually found, but just by taking a random sample of only 100 from a universe of a million, that is a million, right? Wait, a million? 100,000. 100,000, sorry. Um, it'll only get, you know, whatever, 100,000, 100, that's a tiny, tiny portion of it we're sampling. Uh, and it actually provided a pretty good result. Um, so let's, you know, if you want to run this again for a million, actually, no, I like Border Collie, so let's keep the Border Collie. So let's see how well it does if we drop down and say we're going to do K is equal to 200. And we'll have to change that. Do we get a little more precision here? Yeah, the Border Collie goes, no, oh, actually, in this case, it was sort of off. The, uh, the tool was 0.24, the border collie was 0.16, the horse came in around just right, but it was still directionally close. Um, one thing you could do, I think, if you wanted to get like a, a better, sort of a better result here, you could take maybe, you know, let's do like 400, maybe it'll come a little closer. Border collie 19% versus 21% a tool. So we got collie, tool, horse, mule. Collie, tool, horse, mule, machete. So this is actually pretty close. If you ran this, say, 100 times, 
and you stored the result in a data structure, like for, for Kali, you restored all the, the, the relative frequency estimates, I bet that would probably converge on the average outcome of what you would expect by taking a sample of 400. But in my case, you know, probably taking 150 or 200 is going to give me a good sense of whether or not I have like, I do have a Kali in my data set that's taking up, you know, 20% of all items. And some things are, you know, pretty, pretty underrepresented. So we don't want to pay a lot of attention to that. Or if I'm creating some kind of a classification scheme or a supervised model, I need to be pretty aware of, of the class imbalance problem. So hopefully that was kind of an interesting way to just say, you know, screw the statistics. Let's just write some code using the Python random module and figure out roughly ourselves what seems like a reasonable statistic. And of course, maybe try it yourself, write a function to compute this 50 times, uh, store the object in a dictionary and keep maybe a default dict and keep appending the outcome to a list of values and then take a take an average or some summary statistic of each of these computations for each of these things in the universe and uh, see what you come out with. I bet it'll be reasonably good. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. There was a bit of a rant, but maybe it was actually useful too. So have a good night.